What's going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Yada and welcome to episode 0, which is a little bit weird to say, of Eclipsing Abramovich. Yes, this is a brand new series brought to you by FM Hub. This was created by our very own Luke James, who has kindly organised all of this, all of these. He's done a very, very good job. This was obviously uh, very, very new. It's definitely an experiment. We don't know how this is, uh, is going to go over. But if it does go over well, then we will hopefully be doing this more often. Uh, essentially, what this series is, is that we posted onto the FM Hub Facebook page that we were looking for people to uh, apply to become a chairman of their own club. Uh, these, these chairmen have unlimited funds and they have to uh, essentially pick their team. Any players at all from the world. It was a little bit messy. Uh, when we were choosing these players, but I think eventually everyone came out happy and we did eventually manage to do it. So, yeah, these, these, uh, I think, and I'm not sure how many teams we picked, I think it was 22 uh, of these teams. Uh, it looks like 22, yes. Um, yeah, we, we got those 22 teams and we put them into a tier system based in Algeria. A little bit weird, I know, but essentially these these players cannot be sold. No one can be bought. There are no transfer windows. There is no Bosman ruling, and their contracts run until twenty twenty seven. So no one can even retire. <laughs> but there will be regens, of course, throughout this. They will have uh, very very good uh, facilities, so that'll be great. But this series is going to run. For for 10 episodes, uh, technically 11, but I'm not counting this as an episode, hence why it's called episode 0, because I'm just going to introduce you to all of the teams. Yes, this, so this series is going to run for 10 episodes, 10 seasons, and we are going to see who picked the best team, and uh, we will give them a prize of a, uh, I don't know, a pat on the back, a round of applause, perhaps. Um, but let's go, let's go into the teams, I think. Uh, or let's go into the league system, sorry. Uh, here we, the top division is Eclipsing Abramovich Division 1. Uh, this is comprised of 12 teams with one spot to win the league and one spot to be relegated. And then uh, underneath this, there is uh, Eclipsing Abramovich Division 2, where there is uh, no spots to be relegated and one to be promoted as champions. So, uh, as you can see, uh, everyone has picked their own team names. There is some, uh, some very, very good team names in here. Uh, I'm very liking uh, Norfolk and Chance because obviously I'm from Norfolk and I used to have a FIFA team called that. But that's not all. There is also a cup competition for everyone to play each other. I, I appears I'm not subscribed to it. Uh, so let me just uh, just get it up. It is called Luke's Stories of an FM Addict Cup. I am subscribed to it. So yes, this will be this will comp uh, comprise of all of the teams. In the league system, all 22 of them in a uh, like a knockout stages round robin type of tournament with uh, the winner getting a round of applause each season. We will, so it will be very very interesting to see. If there's uh, a particularly good team in Division Two because obviously this was oh didn't mean to do that. This was uh, completely random as to who got put into which division, so it means absolutely nothing right now. Uh, but uh, yeah, so. All of these teams, these teams could be fucking atrocious, and these could be all the best teams. We just don't know. We just don't know. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to run you through every single team, and, uh, we will... I'm, it's going to be, it's going to be a fairly weird episode. If you don't care about the teams, you just want to see who does what, uh, then, uh, just feel free to not watch this episode. But, uh, if you want to know the teams inside and out, then, uh, this is going to be... It's going to be the, the episode for you. So, uh, in Eclipsing Abramovich Division 1, this is the predicted finish. I don't know whether this means anything at all. Uh, taking Slovakia uh, a thousand to one to win the league. To sexy United at even, so uh, they should essentially just win it with uh, no problems. But let us, let us run through the teams like this uh, via name. So, we have got, first of all, we have got Red Alliance. Uh, let's take a look at their staff list, uh, first of all. Uh, as the manager, they have got Steve Bruce, and uh, the rest of this doesn't mean anything. But they picked 
Steve Bruce as their manager. Very, very defensive manager. It's going to be interesting to see uh, how they do for sure. But let's take a look at their team. Oh, I should also mention there is a reserve squad for the, uh, uh, the whatchamacallit. Can't even think of it. Can't even... Can't even think about it. So, um, for some reason, some of these players have got terrible stats as well. Don't I don't know. I really I really don't know uh, what's gone wrong here. But uh, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, there's a reserve squad for the uh, the regens to come through in two. But in goal, they have got Julian Speroni and uh, Ge Geronimo. What a great name, Geronimo Rudy. This guy, man. I might have to buy this guy. What a great name that is. Then they've got John Stones, Daily Blind, Lucas Digne, Scott Parker, uh, Cedric McCady, uh, Lucas Oscar, um, Ocampos, Victor Fisher, Anderson, Mac Hamzik, Lewis Holtby, uh, Griezmann, Musa, uh, Cavani, uh, Di Santo, Barboza, and Falcao. So that's a that's a nice mix of uh, of young defenders and midfielders. Uh, with, a, with a couple of older ones just dotted around in there, and uh, they've got a fairly old attack, I won't lie, but Gabriel Barbosa, very, very good pick. He becomes an absolute tank on this game most of the time, so it'll be great to see how he develops in the, into the squad, but this is a bit of a ridiculous attack with Edison Cavani and uh, Radmel Falcao. The defence, looking a little bit shaky for now, uh, is not exactly a great defence, they don't have very many defenders. They've got so many attackers, but absolutely no one in defense. So it'll be interesting to see uh, how uh, Steve Bruce sets his team up. <laughs> but, but um, yeah, uh, very, very good luck to uh, Red Alliance FC. This this team, uh, I think the teams are all a little bit a little bit odd. I didn't set this database up. Uh, that was that was done to Luke James. I'm just here to, uh, to do the talking. I am just here to do the talking, which is uh, which, what I'm good at. This team, I've already noticed, is uh, very old, uh, really, when you look at it. It's a very old team. But in goal, they've got Michel Vorm, uh, Stephen Henderson, and uh, Testegen. Testegen, very, very good goalkeeper, very good pick there. In defence, uh, they've picked Pablo Zabaleta, a big Rio Ferdinand, who is uh, not going to retire for a while, but he's not going to get any better. And uh, Diego Lugano with the same problem. But this guy's mentals are uh, incredible. He's got himself a captain right there. Uh, alongside Rio Ferdinand. Also someone to uh, to tutor the uh, the younger ones, perhaps. Who knows. Then uh, he's picked uh, Gael Clichy and Jose Enrique. Then he's got Jordi Classy. Andre Pirlo. Very old pick again. Mario Suarez. Kevin Strootman. Very good pick there. Uh, Shakiri and Gareth Bale. Two very, very nice picks. Uh, I'm very... Um, Shakiri, I don't see him a lot in a lot of squads to be picked, but uh, that's that's very nice. That's very nice. Then we've got Gareth Bale there. Uh, of course, we all know Gareth Bale is a good player. Then we've got Juan Mata, Xavi, Tim Cahill, Luis Suarez, David Villa, Sergio Aguero, Alvaro Negredo, and Moreno. Uh, Moreno, a little bit of an odd pick there, but uh, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, do they have anyone in the reserve squad? Of no, they've got a young Sergio Aguero. <laughs> <laughs> this this save is so weird. Um, I don't know. I, the res I'm not going to look at the reserve squads anymore. It's just a little bit odd to me. Uh, but this attack, very, very frightening with uh, uh, Negredo, Aguero, and Luis Suarez. But there's no one young in uh, in there, his attack. So uh, he's, this is going to last him for a good five or so years, this attack. But any longer, they're going to start to degrade. He's got to hope those regens take over very quickly and he's got hope he gets some very very good regions for this squad very old squad I uh, can see this squad doing very well for the first few seasons until it starts to tear it off uh, once uh, Ray Fan and Lugano become uh, become not very good but Stegen probably going to save his defence a little bit uh, every so often so uh, this will be an interesting team to look at he's got a good mix of young and old there this team very very balanced squad if I'm looking at the ages but Let's let's go through the players. He's got uh, Joe Hart, David Marshall, and uh, Courtois. Incredible goalkeepers. Uh, uh, David Marshall obviously not great in this game. He's okay though. Uh, probably going to get a buff next season after his incredible season in real life. But Courtois, ah, oh, Courtois, great best keeper in the game in my opinion. Uh, honestly, he's stupidly good. He just doesn't concede at all ever. But uh, he has got uh, Branislav Ivanovic, Bakary Sanya. 
Gary Medell, Liam Ridgewell, Phil Jagielka, Curtis Davis, and Diego Godin. That's oh, and Kyle Walker. Sorry, that's uh, a very nice mix of uh, like oh, a very uh, balanced defense there. Uh, Gary Medell and Kyle Walker being the young ones. Gary Medell looks like he is about 50 years old, but um, maybe not 50. But he looks mid 30s. But he's only 25, which I think everyone is surprised about uh, when they, when they see it. But uh, yeah. He's uh, He's got a few older players in there. Brandon Savovanovic, Bakri Sanya, Phil Jagielka, Curtis Davis, Dika Gozin. Not exactly young. They're only going to last uh, a few seasons, really, until uh, until you start getting those regens in. But uh, his attack, let's take a look at this. Uh, he's got Koke, uh, Kamona, Naboa, Aaron Lennon, Sam Nasri, Raheem Sterling, Christian Teo, Barak Yilmaz, Wagner Love, and Zlatan Ibrahimovic. The man himself, the man, not particularly a myth, but certainly a legend up front. This guy, when this uh, when the series finishes, will be 41 years old. So we will see what he looks like 41 years old. But um, this, yeah, no, very good, very good picks up front there. Va uh, Wagner Love, uh, quite an underrated player with his 16 fin oh, with his 16 finishing, finishing, com uh, 15 composure, and what was that? Uh, 16 off the ball. Not bad at all. Bjork Bielmaz, I think most people know this guy is a bit of a beast anyway with that 18 finishing and 17 off the ball. These are all fairly old picks. Let's go into the more interesting ones. Christian Tello or Teo. I don't know how you say this guy's name. But uh, that uh, that crossing, dribbling and finishing ability combined with that pace. Very, very nice. Very, very nice. Then we've got Raheem Sterling there. Uh, not a bad pick. I don't know how he develops in this game. I've not really seen a, 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 an old Raheem Sterling. So it'd be great to see him uh, at 28 years of age. But uh, Sam Nasri, Aaron Lennon, Naboa, who I don't know, in fact, but looks like he's got very nicely balanced stats, makes a very good DM there. And Carmona, uh, not particularly balanced, but good tackling there at 16. Not bad. Koke, we all know Koke, very, very good player. So he's got a nice little team here. Uh, this guy, I, I imagine he's going to be up there, but towards maybe, it's going to be up there but towards mid-table, I think. Bantabus, not sure what happens to this team. Uh, I think a few of these teams didn't get their players sent in, and so they just had random players assigned to them. So, it looks like he's going to be uh, using and abusing this reserve squad. I imagine this guy will uh, come very, very low in the, in the table, but uh, we have got... Here we've got here we have got uh, Chalice FC who's got Luke Steele in goal. Not not the good Steele. Kind of wanted Jason Steele there, but again I assume this is going to be the uh, the same as as last time. But he's got the Manu Village and Mark Noble as the more notable ones. As Mojayan, very good player here. Uh, I know someone that would uh, like me to stream his name, but it's not going to happen. Not going to happen, okay? But then we've got Diamonds. This team looks looks a little bit more like it incredibly young team look at this he's got a few older players uh, put into the mix here but such a young team such such a young team in goal he's got uh, Lee Nichols Koval and Timo Horn Timo Horn very good goalkeeper very good goalkeeper we all know this they're all 20 years of age they're going to be vying for a place each of them I imagine uh, Koval and Timo Horn will be the main men in goal though in defense he's got uh, Daniel Agger and Martin Skirtle gone with a uh, Liverpool back line here by the looks of things, but he's also got uh, Nastasic and Pepe Nastasic, incredible, incredible player on this game. He's also got uh, Diego Reyes, who I don't particularly recognise, but uh, it'll be interesting to see him. Uh, he's got uh, Kawambe, who I don't know, uh, Neom, who again, I don't know, but he's also got uh, Ricardo Rodriguez, incredible player. I believe he plays for Wolfsburg in real life. Uh, apologies if I'm wrong there, I probably am. But uh, Marcelo here, uh, incredible defender. We all know Marcelo. Uh, Lucas Romero, in, uh, very, very popular player here. And uh, Jeffrey Condobbio, who, if you uh, if you watch my Norwich season on my own channel, which will be linked below, you will know he is a very, very fun player. He's also got uh, Ravel Morrison, Sergio Navri, uh, Vitinho, who is incredibly underrated. He uh, becomes free at the end of the first season. I recommend everyone check him out. He's also got Octavio, uh, Zachariah, Bacali. I don't know how you say his name properly, I apologize. Uh, Jesse, or Jesse, uh, incredible player, plays for Real Madrid. And uh, Ange Angelo Her Enriquez, 
Man United player. Uh, he develops quite well, if I recall. So it'll be, I can imagine the strike force being uh, incredibly deadly. Uh, uh, this lot here are going to be very, very good for a long, long time. None of these guys are ever really going to be too old for this team. Uh, Rather Morrison and uh, Jesse are going to be 30 years old at the end of it. But the, uh, the regions perhaps will take over. We do not know. We do not know. Then we've got Dyslexia United. Uh, in goal, this guy has got Hugo Lloris, Manuel Neuer, and Bernard Lino. Oh, he's picked the three best goalkeepers, I think. Uh, Lloris and Neuer, incredible right now. Bernard Lino, incredible right now, but incredible in the future, most of all. So he's got himself a good backup goalkeeper there, but that's a very, very, very good uh, trio of goalkeepers there. Uh, then he's got Nicola Muru, who develops not too bad. He's got Toby uh, Alderweireld. Uh, I'm not sure who he plays for in real life. I apologise. He's got uh, Angelo Ogbonna, uh, the uh, I can't remember who he plays for either. He's got Matt Hummels, uh, uh, Mascherano, and Javi Martinez. Alex Tellez, very, very, very good player. If you haven't seen this guy before, I recommend you uh, you check this guy out. He's uh, he's very good. Quite expensive, but he's uh, he's very, very good. But yes, uh, as you can see, this defense, uh, very mid-aged here, really. Uh, about 24, 25, maybe 26 average. Uh, but Javier Mascherano, not going to last for much longer. Although, he's got incredible mentors. So, uh, yeah, it'll be interesting to see how he does. His, uh, his uh, physical is not that bad either. 15, natural fitness, he should just keep them for a while. But, uh... Uh, let's keep going through the team. He's got Sergio Busquets. We all, all know Busquets. Very good player. Uh, Jean Obi Mikel, uh, Ilke Gundogan, Eric Lamena, Lamella, uh, Verratti, Goetz, Adnan Yanazai, Daniel Sturridge, Carlos Tevez, and Mario Balotelli. Wow, what an attacking lineup that is. Uh, he should be scoring goals for fun. Obviously, this guy is uh, rated to come first. In the league uh, with evens, so you kind of expect that to uh, to be a thing, but uh, you know the defense. Actually, he's very balanced all the way through. Um, he's not weak anywhere really. Perhaps uh, in the fullback position, he's a little bit weak, but no, he's done. He's got good picks there. In fact, he's got very good picks. This this guy looks like he didn't uh, put his team in. Uh, along with this guy, he's got some decent players though. Uh, I think I see a Juan Fran. Uh, Okucha, Mbia, Samueletto, Nino I don't know, doesn't look too bad, but he's 33, and Kakao looks uh, not very good, and he is 32. So yeah, so some of these guys didn't put the teams in, which is a little bit of a shame. Wow, Walter Samuel, very good player there, but he's 35. Uh, Emiliano Insua, not bad, Adriano, uh, Adrian Ramos, uh, not bad, not not that bad, good physicals. Um, then you, he's, got, he's got Andy Carroll. Uh, but yeah, I think next time we're going to have a chat how we can do it better next time. Uh, I'm just going to have a chat while I go through these uh, lesser... Or I'm just going to have a chat while we go through these uh, lesser teams. Because uh, and just show you the players. A lava, not bad. Um, yeah, I think we're going to discuss how we're going to do it. He has got Javier Zanetti. Oh, poor pick. Terrible pick, my son. Terrible pick. He's not even very good anyway. But, no, that's not a good pick. Gareth Barry, not bad. Uh, I think what ne we'll do next time is we'll just uh, let people pick their own teams and see what people can come up with. Uh, and we are back to the beginning there. Let's go take a look at Division 2. Uh, yeah, we'll let just people pick their own players and we'll just do the players. I think maybe that's what that's what I'm, I will suggest. Uh, if you think that's a decent idea, if you're still listening 19 minutes in, uh, if you think that's a good idea, just put it down below if you've got any suggestions on uh, how we can do it better at any point through the series. Please comment down below. We uh, we love to uh, to read your comments. We love your interactions. Uh, oh, Bamiyang. Very, very quick player. This team is very quick, isn't it? He seems to pick just the quickest players he could find. And then we, we come to Claudio Pizarro. <laughs> Obviously not, not a very quick player, along with uh, Michu. This guy... Not that bad. Uh, oh, actually, we should probably look at the season preview. Bears predicted to come top, but it's all very, very, very tight down there. So we uh, we have no idea who's going to come where, really. But, uh, let's continue going through them. 
Wow, Demirio, not a bad player at all, really. And he's got some good stats there. Shame he's 31, but I've not heard of this guy before. Good pick. And uh, Ariola, nice player as well. Develops not too bad. Sergio Ramos, uh, Pe uh, Pape Soare, Soare uh, n not a great player. Dante, Alex, this team is very old, I've noticed. Uh, Christian Zapata, uh, Samir, he's got one young centre-back. Not a bad player there. Miguel Lopez, it's a very old team, from what I can tell. And the young ones that he does have aren't particularly great. They're like the two young ones that he has are not great. I'm counting uh, this guy. Oh, he's got three young players, sorry. Yeah. Let's, uh, let's keep going. Uh, he's got Traore there. Mavuba, not a bad player. Uh, Diame, Frank Ribery. He declines very quickly from what I can tell. Uh, Tino Costa, he's got he's got very well-rounded stats. Ah, uh, oh, Jesus, why would you do this to me? Blaszczykowski. Um... <sighs> Is, uh, is obviously a well-known player. Danny, I think I said his name right. Tell me if I did. Give me a round of applause. Danny, not a bad player either. Mario Mandzukic, uh, Mario Gomez, and Fernando Llorente uh, is a, a very, very, very good player, as you can see there. But that's an old team. I can't see this team lasting too long if it does do well. Uh, Brad Guzan in goal with uh, Zila. Gives him young goalkeepers there. Zila will last him the entire time. He's picked John Terry. <sighs> Look at those mentals. Madness. His aggression is not high enough. Uh, but he's got Jonathan Silva. Uh, Gino Peruzzi uh, is a great, great, great fullback. He's got Lars Bender and Sven Bender. He's got the Bender brothers. And uh, alongside uh, Paul Pogba. That's a great midfield along with Tony Cruz and Johan Caballé. He declines very, very rapidly though. So not a great pick there. This midfield trio uh, or quad quadruplet is incredible. Absolutely incredible. He has picked, uh, he has picked Robert Lewandowski. Poor choice. I left this in this uh, this transfer arranged, just as a little uh, just a little um, uh, what was it? secret. This guy he, he is definitely leaving at the end of the season. <laughs> I apologise to uh, whoever owns John O'Groats FC, but I did leave that in just just as a little something, just as a little something. Uh, I apologise to you. Uh, I'm lucky there. Kevin Volland, very good player. He develops nicely. Ante Herrera, as to see. And uh, Kershikov, a little bit old. But his main man, Robert Lewandowski, is leaving him at the end of the season. I apologise. We've got launched a massive... Uh, maybe I should uh, get the uh, the old uh, finger-clicking thing out <laughs> for uh, the launched a massive. Uh, and go, although he's got Jefferson and Raphael. Uh, two decent picks, I guess. Two decent picks. Jefferson will... Uh, do him nicely for a while until Raphael develops a little bit because he's not a great player. Uh, he's okay, he's okay, but he could uh, certainly could. Yeah, he could do with some uh, some training up there. But he's got Cesar Azpilicueta and Ashley Cole, two of the the oh and Daniel uh, Daniel Alves, two of the uh, three of the best fullbacks in the world right now. Really, when you uh, when you think about it. But Alves and Ashley Cole, a little bit old, a little bit old there. Mangala, incredible pick there. We all know Mangala. I think everyone tries to get him at some point in their save. Purely because of his physicals. Let me just show you them. Those physicals. Madness. Absolute madness. But he has got uh, Lucel. I know, sorry, I'm, I'm apologising for these names all the time. But I really know how to say And he's got Eunice Kabul. Who, uh, they're, they're both fairly old. Kabul, not a bad... He's not a great player really, but he's okay. He's okay. Then uh, the rest of the team, we've got Jefferson Farfan, Joe Cole... Poor pick by Kevin De Bruyne, Kisuki Honda, Rafael van der Vaar, Shinji Kagwa, nice pick. Cristiano Ronaldo declines fairly rapidly, as does Robin van Persie and Nilma. This is a very old team. This team, sorry buddy, sorry. Shinji Kagawa will be your one shining light throughout this entire series, but along with Mangala. But no, I'm sorry man. It's not a great team. You've got to hope regens take over fairly quickly. Cristiano Ronaldo though, obviously he's a good player. Obviously a good player. Uh, those uh, those uh, technicals and mentals will always stay, so he will do a job for uh, for a fairly long time. But mm -hmm. uh, despite his 18 natural fitness, I always find his uh, his uh, physicals just are gone by the time he hits about 34, 35, and uh, you'll have three seasons of that left. Uh, take a look at this team. We've got uh, Buffon and Handanovic, two very good goalkeepers, but they're quite old. 
God, I hope a regen comes through quickly. Andre Wisdom, Winston Reed, Juan Jesus, and Jordi Alaba. Not bad defense, really. Uh, Winston Reed and Andre uh, Wisdom. Two uh, questionable picks, to say the least. Uh, I, I, Juan Jesus, not a bad player, uh, as is Jordi Alba, though. We all know Jordi Alba very, very quick. He's uh, got a good left foot on him. But uh, he's also got Xavi Alonso and Steven Gerrard, who are two old players whose physicals are not at all anything special already. Uh, and they're going to go down fairly quick, I think. Uh, so that'll be interesting. But yeah, he's got Thomas Muller and Marco Royce, Santi Cazuela and Cesc Fabregas. Santi Cazuela, a little bit old, but uh, he'll do a job for a while. But uh, Thomas Muller, Marco Royce and Cesc Fabregas, two decent picks. Or uh, three decent picks there. And up front, he's got Rodrigo Palacio. Nice little player there. Nice little player, but he's 31 years old. And uh, Baffet Simbi Gomez. Baffet Simbi. Ah, oh, I'm butchering that name. I apologize. Uh, he's not a bad player, but 27 years old. Not going to last him too long. Appears to be a, uh, a team that didn't submit or didn't get put in properly. Scottish Swaggers. Uh, he's got Paul Robinson and Kasia Schmeichel in goal. Kasia Schmeichel, very nice little player there. I've uh, used him extensively before. Uh, Danilo, he's got the wrong Danilo, unfortunately. I, I'm a pre -pro oh, no, he's got both of the Danilos. He's got both of them. Oh, wow, okay. Uh, yeah, okay. Interesting defence here with uh, Cahill. Shawcross, great player f for five seasons or so. Incredible player. Gary Cahill, not bad either. Uh, Grankvist, uh, you're just taking the piss now with these names. Uh, uh, he's an okay player, nothing special though. But Laporte, we all know Laporte, incredible, incredible defender. Uh, he's going to last him throughout the entire series. Uh, that'll be great. Then he's got uh, Fran Rico, I don't recognise this game. Uh, incredibly balanced, but not to do anything special. He's got good mentals though. Uh, if you look at his mentals there, not bad at all. Then he's got Hoischberg, uh great player, 17 years old. He's going to last him throughout. Uh, Landon Donovan, interesting choice. Nothing special already, only going to get worse. Ashley Young is an appalling choice. This guy is terrible on Football Manager, absolutely awful on Football Manager. Then we've got Frank Lampard at 35 years old. <laughs> oh, man, he's going to be 45 when this finishes. Oh, man. Then we've got Kasper Kusk. Uh, who looks like a decent player there. Not a bad pick at all at 21 years old. And Christian Eriksen, we all know. Uh, great player. Good pick there. Lorenzo Insigne, nice pick again. Although this guy relies on his pace so in his later years. 31-32. Got to hope that he can keep that pace despite his 10 natural fitness. He's got Park Ju Young. Not a good pick again. And Jermaine Defoe, the same. Shakhtar senseless. senseless. Uh, this guy, nice team from what I can tell just looking at it. He's got Tim Krul, Jack Butland, Jared Piquet, Raphael Varane, Mika Richards, Luke Shaw, Stephen Colker, Dan Byrne, David Luiz and Matt, uh, Matteo De Siglio. Nice team, nice defence here. Uh, only one I'd be worried about is uh, Mika Richards and uh, Jared Piquet. They're a little bit old, a little bit old. They're going to last for a good five, six seasons anyway, so not much to worry about here. Luke Shaw, fantastic pick. Uh, Designo, fantastic pick. Nah, he's got a great defence. This team, in fact, incredible team. Uh, I can sense this guy doing well. I've not actually looked at any of the managers. Uh, apologies for that. I've been forgetting that, but I don't know what I like. how much managers are going to affect it, but we'll see when they get sacked anyway. But he's got Jack Grealish here, not a bad player, always causes trouble against me. And Andre AU, nice player. They're not going to grow too much more there. And Ramsey, uh, a little bit a little bit on the, uh, the dodgy side here because he's uh, not great on foot manager. But he's got Eden Hazard and Thorken Hazard. Uh, if you watch my Norwich career, you'll know Thorken Hazard is a decent little player. Eden Hazard though, we all know Eden Hazard, incredible. Lucas Moura, Dempo Martin, Christian Benteke. This is a great team. I can see this one doing fairly well uh, if he can if he can get that if he can get that right. Um, let's uh, let's keep going through the teams. We haven't got too many more left, but uh, we've been going for 29 minutes. This has been such a long episode. I really need a drink as well. Uh, in goal, uh, 
is a bit of an odd team, a little bit of an odd team. Goal, he's got Lucas uh, Tomasic and Jan Sommer. Nice little keeper here in Jan Sommer. Uh, Leonardo Bonucci, Julian Lescott, a story. Jose Accor, good pick. Harry Maguire, good pick, I guess. He's okay, not exactly great in the physical area. Martin Di Michaelis. And Nathaniel Shaloba, who I, I, I rate very, very highly. Nigel De Jong. Nathan Redmond, who, uh, uh, while he is uh, rated fairly highly in this game, doesn't develop fantastically. I am Robin, uh, Neymar, Zigic, and Luke De Jong. Sorry, man. Not great players. I, oh, of course, he's got this guy, but I think this is just a uh, random. Because I did add players to playable teams. Just so uh, these Algerian players would be added so that teams actually have some players. This team, uh, quick look at it. Good picks, good picks. Uh, let's go through them. Asmin Begovic and uh, Petr Cech. Petr Cech lasts for a fair while, to be fair. Uh, not a bad player for a while. And Asmin Begovic will pick up from where he's left off. He's got Marquinhos. Uh, who is a great defender, Phil Jones, Marcus Rojo, or Rojo, sorry, who is incredibly underrated by everyone. His stats are superb. His physicals, you can see there, are nice, but the technicals, the defensive technicals at least, are great. 15 technique, uh, 16 tackling, 17 marking, and 16 heading. Why would you not want this guy? Uh, he can even play uh, left back very well because he's got 14 crossing there. Dribbling at 12, okay, not bad, not bad. But no, very, very nice player there. Jonas Olsen. Not a good pick. Sorry, man. Not a good pick at all. Doria. Good pick. We all know Doria. Uh, this guy is ridiculously good. And uh, Sake, who not a lot of people know about. But I can't remember exactly who he came from. Uh, Stuttgart. There you go. Stuttgart. Um, superb, superb fullback. Superb. Philip Lam, nice little utility player he's got here, but not going to last him very long. And then Victor Wenyama, who everyone rates so highly. I never used him, so I can't really do it. But looking at his technicals, not not great. Not great. But everyone rates him highly. They all say he's incredible. So uh, I will I will uh, just withhold my opinion on Victor Wenyama there. Uh, Yaya Torre, a little bit old, but still decent stats for a few seasons. Uh, Jack Wilshere, nice, nice mentals this guy has. Uh... And uh, he'll do a job for quite a while. James Will Prowse. We all know James Will Prowse. Very, very nice. Pedro, Theo Walcott, Lionel Messi. I believe this team is actually owned by Luke James, the uh, the man, uh, the creator of this, this database. So uh, he's giving them tough Lionel Messi, the cheeky bastard. But nice little pick there. Stefan El Sharawi, uh, Wayne Rooney, and Romelu Lukaku. He's got, he's got a decent team. You can see he's picked them for himself. <laughs> see which team he done first, can't you? Edinburgh Bears here. Uh, have we, we've done Edinburgh Bears. We've gone through all of the teams now. Oh, my Lord. Oh, my Lord. I am thirsty. <laughs> Jesus. 32 minutes. 33 now. Uh, I, yeah, I'd just like to thank everyone for getting involved in this series. Uh, uh, I cannot wait to see what happens. I've uh, I've not I've uh, simulated most of it already. I have not looked at it though, but it will certainly be interesting to see what happens. So guys, see you later. And uh, down below, I'd love it if you could put your predictions for the winner of the Eclipsing Abramovich Division Two League, the Eclipsing Abramovich Division One League. I'd like you to put uh, your relegated team as well, and the uh, the winner of the. Uh, Luke's ad or FM stories. Luke's stories of an FM ad addict. Is that what it is? I'm so sorry, man. I've totally forgotten what your uh, your uh, FM page is. Luke's stories of an FM addict. That's his page. Go check that out. Go check us out at F. -h Jesus, I cannot get it out today. F. F. M. Hub. Thought Manager Hub. Please subscribe to this channel. Please check my channel out below. I upload quite regularly and uh, guys I'm going to see you all in the next episode where we'll be at the end of season one so guys peace out